Hey guys, it's Rasputin coming to you from the Fortified Castle. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Today we're going to be talking about um, another episode of Why Did I Buy That? And um, this is going to be minus a lot of the rhetoric I normally give. It's just a quick look at some cool knives. And i tell you why I bought it. Uh, before I do that, let's say um, Privet, Bonjour, Ciao. Guten Tag, and hola to my foreign friends. And so uh, we'll start off with this knife right here. This is a uh, Terry Levin knife, and I bought it because it's kind of cool looking. Brass handles, little lizard there, and a stork on the other side. Um, uh, pretty neat little knife, and it has really nice action on this knife. Let me try that again. Yeah, a little nice action. Uh, this knife here is a uh, little fruit knife. It's two and seven eighths inch long, single blade, and um, it's coin silver. So this probably dates to the uh, Civil War. You can see it has a little uh, milled back on it right there. It's kind of worn down quite a bit because it's silver. I'll show you that real quick. And um, I like these knives. That's why I bought it. They're really pretty. They're cool. And um, I think originally I bought this because it was from the Civil War era. And I was trying to collect knives from that period of time. Uh, let's see. Okay. This is a War Eagle. Um, these knives were produced by A.G. Russell. They were the first knives that they produced out of China. And I got it because I wanted to... Uh, Check out the quality of their knives um, from China. Uh, this is a natural, uh, genuine uh, stag bone with a genuine mother of pearl in it right there. A little piece of mother of pearl. Uh, but the knife is very high quality. All the transitions are absolutely great on this knife. Um, it's completely uh, tight in the back. Here there's no gaps. You hold it up to the light, you can't see any gaps whatsoever. Um, so pretty nice knife, and I think I paid $25 for this. I don't remember. But, um, yeah, I think uh, A.G. Russell is producing quality knives out of China. You can see that right there. And that's why I bought that knife, just to see. Um, uh, this knife here, uh, I was on a quest to... Uh, investigate um brass cutlery and i was buying old their older knives and their newer knives and just trying to gauge the quality for myself and what their knives were and i uh, came across this knife here um this pattern they call uh cobra cobra pattern i guess it's kind of snake like i don't know um but, you know, this is a nice little knife. It's not, it doesn't feel very heavy. Um, and I got this because I got two of them for $18. So this was about $9 and the other one was $9. Um, a pretty cool little knife, I guess. Uh, this knife here is just a um, three and a half inch. Uh, this is three and a quarter inch uh, jack knife, regular jack. It's made by Waterville. Uh, that's their later mark in, so it was made after 1890, you know, probably between 1890 and uh, 1910. 1890 and 1910, I think I said that right. And um, I was just trying to acquire, uh, you know, some early American examples of knives. And uh, pretty cool little knife. Anyhow, um, that's uh, Five Knives and why I bought them. I appreciate you guys for watching. Remember, you'll know the truth. The truth will set you free. And I uh, really, really, really appreciate you guys for supporting me and watching the channel. Thanks.